Hello, today it is snowing and I'm going to stay inside and make a rainbow bracelet. So I don't know if any of you remember, uh, maybe people from Britain, fun facts? But I have a few books in this one that I've decided to keep that weren't the weirdest. Um, and the first of them is friendship bracelets. So it's a, like an instruction book to make friendship bracelets. And I used it a bunch when I was younger, and I've forgotten almost everything. But it has a good introduction of different types of friendship bracelets, and I am going to use this one. Especially because it calls for six threads, and uh, there are six colours. <laughs> so that'll be useful. So I'll just make one line of each colour, and it'll be slanty and... Nice, I think. I hope. <laughs> so, um, these are the colours I have. They have been picked with the help of a Google sheet with someone who took the RGB values of the pride flag and figured out which um, embroidery floss from DMC. So this is DMC embroidery floss. Um, and they all have numbers. So this one is 3837 or 3837 and yeah so I will leave a link to that Google sheet um, below because that was amazingly helpful and I guess I will like check in throughout the process of making this um, bracelet and we'll see how it turns out. So now I have cut a meter of string from each of them, like each of the colours, I have a meter of string and then I've knotted them together and taped them to the table in the good old fashioned way that we used to do when I was a kid. Uh, <laughs> next step is to um, plait them um, for about five centimetres and then uh, the knotting starts. Okay, so the plait is done and the first line of knots is in place, the red one. And it seems I remember my old tricks. <laughs> so this looks like it's going to go well. Um, I've decided to go for double knots, a uh, forward knot, I think it's called, on the source I found on the internet, instead of a single knot, which uh, is what was in the book, because then with a double knot, each colour will be um, more obvious. Uh, but in the book, they use two lines of the same colour. So, yeah. So I'm modifying a little. And now we go! I have now completed one full rotation of the threads. I think I may have made a mistake on the yellow. Right there. <laughs> But it's fine. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll... Well, I will con continue making this until I have enough bracelet. And then we'll have a pride bracelet. So that'll be lovely. <laughs> I am definitely remembering how I used to make these. Um, it's a skill that's... Uh, obviously something that I remember very well <laughs> and I'm enjoying it although I can feel that I am older than I was the last time I was making these my shoulders and my back probably can't handle doing all this in one sitting <laughs>
I have gotten to the end of the knotting portion. I'm going to plant a f about five centimeters and then a knot. I also realized I forgot to actually tell you the numbers uh, of DMC um, embroidery floss that I was using. So you can look at this or look at the document I'll link in the description. Um, also, <laughs> after looking at the instructions in the Friendship Bracelets book, uh, they do indeed use two knots like I've I've done here. I just read the instructions wrong. But I will also leave the um, website, the, the online website, with the tutorial that I found um, in the description. I'm super happy with how this turned out. It's the colors are just really correct and um yeah i can't wait to wear this all the time <laughs> and yeah i guess i will check back in with it on my wrist if i can manage to knot it on like tie it on myself which uh, we'll see <laughs> here it is on my arm um i knotted it with a uh, What's it called? Bowman's knot, I think, and two half edges to keep it properly tight. And I trimmed the ends, so I have thread left over. Um, yeah, a meter was too much. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to wear this forever. <laughs> so yeah, that was the making of my pride bracelet. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.